I have an interesting thought about testing the validity of religious frameworks, moral frameworks, philosophical frameworks, just anything that claims to help you live a better life. And that is, is how effective is the framework when you go from being surrounded by a community with that framework to a completely different community who, you know, doesn't know about the framework at all. And like how, how much more successful will you be in that new community, socially, uh, financially, um, like in terms of your emotional health, your mental health, your peace, um, how well you do a, like your job, how well you get along socially. Um, and I think that is what really tests what a true framework is. And I think it's interesting because I personally believe that Christianity should be the right framework. And what I mean by right is that it sh Christianity should be a proponent of love and truth. And when you truly follow love and truth, aka like God and Jesus, then you will realise that there is always more to learn. There is always more to improve at there's always more to pursue and you never land on a complete framework but that in itself is the complete framework the framework is that you will always have to keep improving and you will never like fix on something and just thinking about that alone i think that is so powerful because it already puts itself in front of like other frameworks which kind of just tell you oh this is that this is this like it kind of just sets out like the rules and the you know the uh standards and if you just reach those then you're good but for love it's like you you can always reach further in love because love is like it's like law is is like the minimum bound but love is the maximum bound and you can always keep loving something more you can always keep um learning about truth more because in the bible it says something like it is the glory of god to hide his mysteries and it's the glory of man to search for them and find them and i think that's the point like god will always hide god is an infinite kind of concept and so he has infinite mysteries and the idea is as as men, as humans, we have to always search out God's glory and the mysteries of God. And honestly, I think if you think about it, that's like pretty much what most people spend their time doing. Like they're either kind of pushing the boundaries of science or they're like studying economics or they're pushing the limits of like how much money they can make by maximizing their wisdom like in terms of money and building a business or things like that and that itself is searching the mysteries of god in the area of money and the sad thing is is that christians don't actually buy into the framework of love and truth because firstly it takes a lot of boldness but also there's just a massive deception about how um, like I said, it's just going back to that religious idea of just having fixed fr standards, having fixed things and everything's fixed and therefore you have no more room to grow and you're kind of suffocated by this religiousness. And um, therefore, the modern church now is not a good indicator of God because I honestly think if you would put like the average Christian in another situation to like... and he and having them depend on their own like skills socially um like economically financially like obviously like some of these skills take time to learn but also a lot is to do with your relationship with god and how and your and your like personal framework that you philosophy that you use for life and i honestly think that a lot of Christians wouldn't be able to be kind of the most successful person um, or be like the person who other people see as blessed, like David was, like Joseph was, like, um, you know, all these people who embodied kind of the 
the spirit of Christ. And that's why I think church is um, not everything when it comes to truly loving God and pursuing truth. And um, also people in church like to stay comfortable. And honestly, it's not just church, it's every community. Like every person wants to have a community where they just fit in, they learn kind of the standards of the community and they can fit in and be comfortable and know that they have a social life. They have people to um, turn to when they need help. And that's just going back to our animalistic nature because it's like, if you learn to fit into a tribe or something, you won't get killed by the lions. And um, yeah, so it's not like I can blame them, but I think like being born of the spirit means turning away from that animalistic the animalistic version of ourselves and embracing kind of the God, like the God in us kind of, as in like the the kind of God inspired aspect of humans that we were made in the image of God. And we can like, cause in the Bible it says that we are little gods, as in we have the ability to like transcend our animalistic nature. Um, so I think that's the true meaning of Christianity and what it should embody. But unfortunately, it fails to do that because humans are humans.